Hey guys, Tony Tell, like it is, Donald Trump is going to be assassinated. It won't come during his term, but I'm going to break it down for you. Donald Trump in the hands of the Zionists and Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin was 64 years old when Donald Trump got elected president. Donnie's got some debts to pay to his Russian overlords. Donald Trump refuses to pay bills to almost anyone, workers, suppliers, lawyers, businessmen, says it all. Donald Trump has no intention of paying bills. Donald Trump has bankrupted himself six times and that is why he cannot get any loan from a U.S. bank. What kind of businessman can't even get a loan from an American bank? He only has one place to go. The one place that's keeping his business empire alive is Russian oligarchs. The Russian mafia is what's keeping Donald Trump's business alive. He has not even paid his debts to his Russian overlords. And this is why Donald Trump is beholden to Russia and his ultimate plan to pay back Putin and his Russian oligarchs is to do Putin's bidding to collapse and destabilize America from within. He has debts to pay to Wall Street and to Russia. He is doing Vladimir Putin's work to destabilize America. And granted, Vladimir Putin couldn't have dreamed of any better way to take over America. By trying to start a, a trade war, by instituting tariffs this year. By the way, the tariffs happening this year when Xi Jinping is 64 years of age. Israel Zion Synagogue of St. Nicol, 64. Putin, 64 years old, when Trump got elected. Z, President Z, 64 years old, right when the Donald Trump tariffs happen. This is the Zionist plan for global destabilization. They need someone who owes money to Russia to carry out Putin's dirty work to destabilize global markets. This is what Donald Trump is in the White House for, to bankrupt America, just like his businesses. Putin couldn't ask for any better way to destabilize America right as the Zionist overlords of planet Earth are staging World War III. The Zionist bankers, the central bankers that own the politicians. Trump signed the Russian sanctions, but he does not even enforce the sanctions. So that tells you who is beholden to. In a personal letter, Trump invited Putin to the 2013 beauty pageant. Oh, there's there's such big enemies, huh? Not exactly. Good friends with Putin. Congratulations for winning your re-election, says Donald Trump to Vladimir Putin. This is the guy who he is beholden to. You can use the practice of gematria in numerology to see exactly what's going on. Gematria, numerology, and astrology. It is Putin's pawn in gematria that equals 45. It is Donald Trump that is the 45th president of the United States. Vladimir Putin's pawn in gematria equals 88. That would be Trump equaling 88. Vladimir Putin, 64 years old. It is the Zionists out there that control your news, your politics, your sports. They are the gang that rules over society. And this is who Vladimir Putin wanted, and this is who the Zionists wanted, so America can no longer be the leader of the free world, if that is what they want, right after World War III. If that is what Russia and China are trying to do. Maybe Putin's colliding with China and he's telling them that he's going to put Donald Trump in the White House since he's got some debts to pay back to them. Donald John Trump, the worst president in U.S. history. A record amount of unfilled positions in the government. Record turnover can't even pass 
repeal and replace with the GOP majority in the White House, billionaire tax breaks, a debt that he already surpassed, Obama's total over two terms in one term right now, a diplomatic disaster, Donald Trump is making enemies with everyone, this guy is the definition of an ugly American, and he's someone that shouldn't be in the White House in the first place, incompetent, he thinks he can run America like a business, he doesn't want to work with anyone, he wants to bully everyone, and that's not what the leader of America should do, right? Donald Trump's going to be assassinated. Some people, the, the, the attack will be blamed on Russia, in my opinion, Donald Trump's assassination, but it's going to be a false flag attack. The CIA is going to kill Trump because Donald Trump is beholden and doing the work of the Russians. And they're going to claim that Russia assassinated Donald Trump. They want you to think that Trump and Russia are enemies and have no connections with each other. This is the ultimate way for America to create an enemy. It's by staging Donald Trump's assassination and claiming that he was on the pocketbook of Russia and because he destabilized world markets and instituted global chaos that they'll blame the death of Trump on Vladimir Putin. This is exactly what they're planning to do but it is a CIA that's going to go assassinate him and they're going to blame Russia on it because they want Russia to be the enemy that the Cold War always lives on. Vladimir Putin, World War III, Trump's assassination, Donald Trump's death, equals 69, a complete false flag that will be blamed on Russia, but it is an assassination that the CIA is going to carry out. Russia will be the enemy here for America. Donald Trump carries out the work of Russia. The CIA seen Donald Trump as a threat under the orders of the Kremlin are going to carry out this assassination and they're going to claim that Russia will assassinate Donald Trump. The CIA is going to kill him, people. CIA will assassinate Donald John Trump equals the beastly number of 144, Mark of the Beast, Jesuit Order 46, Trump's assassin, the CIA, chaos equals 46, Donald Trump's birth year in 1946. 2021 would be the year that Donald Trump gets assassinated. Four presidents have been shot and killed. Donald Trump could be the fifth in 2021. That adds up to five. 2021 equals five. Donald Trump would be number five. Trump, five letters. Bound to happen by the numbers as it is. The eventual Donald Trump assassination that would happen right after he loses the election and gets fired. The assassination of President Donald John Trump right after the stock market crash, 185. Heck, even his name equals 185. Book of Revelation, 185 and 77. Crisis, 77. This is all going to be a manufactured crisis. This is going to kick off World War III. Donald Trump, the catalyst under Russia's control, instituting these tariffs, pissing off China. China is going to attack is, is red states now. America may punish Donald Trump for being under the pocketbook of the Zionists in Russia. It's not Hillary Clinton that owes debt to Russia. It's Donald Trump. Hillary Clinton would force the sanctions as it is right now. The last GOP president to be assassinated was William McKinley, the 25th president of the United States it's no coincidence that in Gematria that it is Trump in Gematria that equals 25 and 88. How about Moscow? Moscow, 88. Trump, 88. Vladimir Putin's pawn once again. It's Donald Trump. Carry out. To set up World War III. Doing as Putin wishes. 1980, Ronald Reagan gets elected. Reagan got assassinated, but he did not die. Reagan elected in a monkey year. 2016, Trump gets elected in a monkey year. And funny how we have a monkey in the White House as it is right now. The Zionists are mocking all of you guys. 
by putting this charlatan idiot in the White House, this reality TV star, mocking by the Zionists via the Chinese Zodiac. William McKinley, he gets elected in 1896. Trump gets elected a monkey year, the last GOP president to be assassinated and killed was elected in a monkey year, a hundred years later. And then a hundred years after the United States declared war against Germany in World War I, Trump carries out the bombs in Syria on April the 6th. Russia's fighting against ISIS too in Syria. How many presidents separate McKinley and Trump is 20. And they may both die from the hands of an assassin. Assassin equals 20 in Demetria. 20 presidents separate McKinley and Donald Trump. McKinley died at age 58. Trump Tower 58 stories. 2016, the 58th election. You see where I'm coming from with this? How much McKinley and Trump have in common? Assassination could follow 120 years later. Just under 120 years later. 119 years. 1901 was the year of an ox. Donald Trump's assassination 2021 would be a fitting year. Year of the ox. Pretty fitting how that's the case. The assassination I'm predicting for Trump, and then the assassination from McKinley also in an ox year. Just patterns to observe. Vladimir Putin, you know, the de facto dictator of Russia, he'll turn 66 years old in 2018. He's going to be 68 years old in 2020. He's going to turn 69 years old in 2021. What I find interesting about 69 years of age in the year 2021 is the fact that that would be the death of Donald Trump in 2021. World War III, Vladimir Putin, Trump's assassination, right? Putin's going to be scapegoat and all this for putting Russia in the way else and they're going to claim he assassinated Trump but it's going to be the CIA that assassinates Trump moving on to the CIA here and all this and all Trump's eventual assassination okay the CIA was founded it will be 71 years ago when September the 18th is upon us 73 years from their foundation would be 2021. It's interesting that sacrifice equals 73. They're going to sacrifice Donald Trump for what he's done to America. You betcha the American elites will punish Donald Trump. I'm sure about that. If, if the billionaires are smart, they should jump out of the stock market right now. I'm telling you that. John F. Kennedy, the last president to be shot and killed, born in the year 1963. The head of the CIA, Mike Pompeo, born in the year 1963. Oh, I wonder how many days separate Mike Pompeo's birthday, the director of the CIA, and JFK's assassination. Pompeo was an ally of Donald Trump, but in a couple of years, he's certainly not going to be an ally anymore, I can tell you that. He will no longer be an ally of Trump in a couple of years. He's going to do what his masters tell him, his Zionist masters want him to do in order to start World War III. This is how they do it. Okay, November 22nd, JFK died. Okay, I need to do the year, do the year. I should do 1963 because that was the year of the assassination. Look at this. 38 days from JFK's assassination of Mike Pompeo's birthday. 
He's going to carry out the Donald Trump assassination. Trump Tower was constructed in 1983. So that would be 38 years, the year 2021. It would be its 38th year in existence. What's funny about 38 is that death in Gematria equals 38 and 20. Once again, assassin equals 20 in Gematria. I don't have all... And construction started in 1979. Murder in Gematria equals 79. Murder equals 79. And you know, this would happen during when, when Warren's president too. Right? It's not Warren that's going to die, but... Donald Trump is going to be murdered while she is president. CIA is going to, going to carry it out. They're going to blame it on Russia. That's their plan. I think China and Russia may join together for World War III. I'm not exactly sure right now, but maybe the United States and NATO, that would have to survive the war itself. You know the ending of the movie Wonder Woman, right? They win the war. It could happen that way, but there, there is a chance that America could lose World War III, too. How long can a world power survive 200, 300, 400 years? It's going to happen eventually for America. It depends on how long the empire is going to survive. But China may try to punish us for trying to play hardball against them. This is what Putin wants. He'll want China to join him. If World War III is not about World, uh, North Korea, then it may be about control over the Syrian uh, pipeline and control of more natural resources. So World War III is going to be launched. America is going to fight against Russia. China holds the keys to the winner of the war. I think China may join Russia. But Trump's assassination is coming. He's going to destabilize America. He's doing the work of Putin. It's the CIA that's going to assassinate him, and they're going to blame Putin for the death. I guarantee you this. So keep an eye out on Russia and China's diplomatic relations, as well as America and China's diplomatic relations. You shouldn't want Donald Trump to play hardball against China because they'll be calling for the debt. If they're calling for the debt, we'll take World War III to not have to pay the debt.